This is my latest project. I just picked this up. It's a Buffalo 18 drill press from, uh, I don't know, early to mid 40s. Um, doesn't look that big, but if you look at the tape measure I have on the table, it kind of gives you a sense of the scale. Uh, you look at the size of that spindle. It's a Morris 3 taper. Um, fortunately, it came with a bunch of stuff, so we're good with that. Um, got the taper uh, from Morris 3 to the smaller ones. You got uh, drill bits that go with it. Nice Jacob uh, chuck on there. A uh, bunch of different drills. Uh, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, so I'm pretty excited about that. The uh, the goal on this is to uh, take it apart. Um, I ran it before; it had a motor on it, or it looked like it was original to it. Very, very, very little run out on the spindle. I, I'm so little run out. I'm not even sure I measured it right. Um, so we take it apart, look at all the bearings, um, make sure they're in top shape, clean everything up, lubricate it. Put it back together probably uh, give it a nice coat of paint on the way um, judging from the uh, lack of damage on the table I'm thinking it's probably in pretty good shape um, I can't imagine a, a drill press of this age uh, that, that had that little bit of damage to it I'm gonna figure out some way of uh, getting a lift on this table uh, it, it's really heavy um, and putting the cross feed table on it's just gonna make it worse so I'm going to need something to help me with that. So uh, we're going to get started taking it apart and see what's in there. Okay, so the top part I uh, just came off with uh, two, two screws or two bolts on each side. It, it's possible this might be the original color. It looks uh, like that little lighter machine gray. This is uh, one of the few projects I needed a ladder to work on. Um, this little top part had three uh, screws that came out. Um, and then you can see the bearing here. You can also see that um, I can't wiggle that at all. So that's a that's a really good sign. So I, I think the next step here is to, um, is, is probably to take out, uh, take this off and go ahead and see you turn this down, the spindle comes out. You see it going down in the top here. So I think we take uh, the, the depth, gauge depth stop off um, and maybe the spring and just turn this all the way out. I'm not 100% sure. Um, get that out and uh, look at the other bearing. And, and I think we're going to be uh, really just clean up and lubricate mode on this. Really, really looks good. Okay, if you see my other videos, you know that there's always like I make assumptions and I find out they're wrong and then I have to correct it. So, and, and this is probably still wrong. So you might want to watch the rest of the video. But I, I think general rule. Anything that's on a shaft, I need to always look really close to see if there's this in there. So I tried turning this uh, with the wrench and I was successful, uh, but it wasn't really coming off. So I don't think that this is threaded. It looks like it's threaded, but I think this has something to do with um, turning the spring around. Um, when I undid this, you see that it, it turns all by itself and the uh, handles over there turn and you can see right now <laughs> it's going all by itself so I don't think that's threaded at all I think this is just held in one position and that is how you get the uh, spring tension in there so in, in theory we could possibly turn this uh, undo this turn it all the way around and then uh, pull that out so we'll, we'll update that when that turns out to be wrong okay strangely enough that um, <laughs> possibly looks like it's correct um, so I loosen that up, turn it all and release the uh, tension and then you pull this off and then you can see this right here I'm guessing probably catches the spring part right there and I think that's probably you turn that and it gets tension. Um, it looks like that fresh damage there is where I tried to turn this with the, uh, with the uh, what do you call that, the uh, Allen screw all the way in. So the next part was actually pretty easy. Um, I loosened these up and then uh, held the, the spindle the other hand, uh, just sort of wiggled this out. And once the pinion came off, uh, the spindle came right out the bottom. And uh, I'm gonna get uh, the rest of this part off and then I'll take a look at the spindle. But I took a, a quick look at it and it looks fantastic. Okay, so I took the spindle out. Um, I took this off the bottom 
And uh, I'm not sure exactly why it has, you can see the inner part there is, is recessed. I'm not sure why that is. It really has two points of contact there on the spindle. Um, not sure why that is. Uh, the, the spindle turns wonderfully on here. I think really all I need to do is just clean that up a little bit, very carefully remove some of the gunk that's in there um, and uh, clean up the, uh, the this outer part some too. It's, it's a little sticky in this area and that it kind of, when I was uh, turning it uh, up and down, with, um, it, it didn't really want to come back up sometimes. Uh, and just clean this a little bit at the bottom and uh, I think that'll be ready to go back in. I see no reason to replace the bearings. I've tried to move this back and forth inside and, and it just doesn't do it. So I think that that run out I measured was actually correct. Uh, so it'll be interesting to get everything back together and uh, try it again. Okay, so the top part's off and uh, we found sort of our first bit of significant damage. It looks at one point uh, this was uh, part was broken off. You can see that it's uh, got a pretty heavy Looks like bronze, uh, bronze uh, brazing on it here and here, and I've looked inside. You can see it was cracked in there too. Uh, it looks like a good job, and uh, obviously it's still holding, so it doesn't seem to be that big a problem. Um, basically, just get this cleaned up, take the rest of the part off, clean it up, paint it, lubricate it, put it all back together. Looks awesome.